All right, hey everyone, here we are back for another guide. Now I mentioned this in my first tutorial, we're just gonna go with quarterback. I mean, there's no reason to use better clubs in this. Um, quarterback's gonna get it down there as far as we want. We really don't wanna drive it any farther, any more aggressive or any of that nonsense. So I, I really highly recommend the, uh, the quarterback approach here pretty much across the board. No reason to go up to a Thor's, no reason to go up to Apocalypse. You just don't need to forfeit that accuracy for any length here. There's no uh, advantage that we're going to receive from uh, extra length. So I'm just going to do this like this and show you guys the way. Um, just be sure that you're paying attention to the wind direction and angle. Here you can see that it looks a little bit more angled than it was last time for me. So I am still going to kind of aim somewhere up in here. Um, and I'm kind of visualizing, you know, at least 12 rings down. That's kind of my target. So I can't go full overpower here. But you can see with what I'm doing, how I'm kind of favoring the left-hand side because of this curl I'm going to put back on. It's going to actually make the ball go back more, way more to the right uh, than it would otherwise. So here you can see that it's just going to kind of hook back towards the center there, and you don't want to go any more power than what I just did. And look how far I still got it up here. So we're up here still very, very far, um, not going to need any extra anything, even with about half power, with a quarterback. So with that in mind, um, better to go for precision. And as I mentioned, I kind of set the bound as to how hard you should ever hit it. So what you just saw with my overpower, you know, make sure that if you're trying to replicate this, that you don't really go beyond that in pretty much any way. It, you, you could potentially get down to as low as, I, I forget the number exactly, I think it's like 7.7, 7.5 that you could potentially get down to. But you can see that, you know, we won't need to go any shorter than this. This actually, in my opinion, makes the, the shot just a little bit harder. So now I'm gonna have to start scaling my curl a little bit. I might need some top spin because you can kind of see what's, what's happening here. So I'm trying to kind of visualize the way this ball is going to roll out. Of course, you can see that I'm kind of setting up towards the rough intentionally. I don't expect it to actually hit that. Now, what I usually do is a very close to one per one, one per. However, in this situation, I'm not going to um, because it is going to. So I'm only going to go seven rings here because I'm much more towards mid club. So with that in mind, I'm going to make sure that I under adjust. Let's just see how this plays out. Looks like I caught the fairway. It's rolling down towards the hole. Let's see if I got the curl. The curl aspect was pretty good. So you are not curl, but the uh, side spin. So it's really going to be a tough hole. You know, it's it's all a guess game. Um, what, what would be ideal is if you could just get it to the same fairway spot consistently and you could just set up your aim the same every time. But you could see the angle that you need to spin it is changed by how far you drive it. Cause you can see I was just way down there and I probably only used four side spin. And if you pay attention to my other shot, I think I used all seven or at least 6.6 .6 or something. Like it was well, you, you could see that the angle that we were coming into that green was much different. So just something for you guys to be thinking about. Um, good luck with that hole. And I will catch you guys for hole number four coming up.